Hey, I'm Will Sliney and I've teamed up with EasyJet to create some fun comic book inspired face mask covers for young flyers. You'll be able to find these face mask covers on select flights across Europe this summer. And now I'm going to show you how to draw them at home with this quick tutorial. So basically whatever I do whenever I'm starting a drawing is I'll break it down into very very simple shapes. And the way that I'll do that is I'll draw a stick figure for my character. The reason why is because the stick figure is nice and easy to draw, it helps me figure out the pose of the character that I want to do and it's one of the most important steps. If I don't like it, I can always draw another one quite quickly so it's quite handy for me to figure out exactly what I want to draw. So next up then, I want to figure out where the anatomy will go on top of the stick figure. For the face, I'll usually break it down by drawing a little line down the middle and some lines across the front of the face to help me figure out where the eyes, the nose and the mouth go. As well as that, I'll break down the arms and the figure into different cylindrical shapes. So these little cylinders will help me figure out what way the arms go. I use them for legs too. I use it for the torso and the chest and things like that. And a nice little tip, this is a bit of a pro tip. One of the things that I do when I'm curving the cylinders, if the arms curve or bent or if the legs are curved and bent, I'll make sure both sides of the cylinder curve together. And it's a nice little trick to help keep a little bit of momentum and a little bit of dynamism in a figure drawing that you're doing. So for the face, I like to break down the different areas. I want to figure out where the eyes and nose and the mouth go. Even in the pilot that we have here, that's really important. Even though we won't see the eyes and the nose and the mouth, it's really, really good to know where those facial features are. And the reason why is because we'll be doing the mask right on top of that. The line, of course, you know, they're a little bit different than human anatomy. He's got a, a snout, I guess, and like the the mouth will be a little bit closer to the nose than you would find in a typical human figure and the ears will be up a little bit higher and you figure that out by looking at different pictures of lines if you see like a cool drawing of a line or if you see like pictures of lines in the wild you know you can study those and you can find out ways to make those work for your character here and that's basically what I've done so far as I've broken it down into layer by layer I'm working on a computer, I'm drawing in different layers on that, but it's the same as working on pencil and paper. And the reason why is because all these things that I'm drawing here now, they'll all be erased. So on a computer, I can just turn off the layer. If I'm working on pencil and paper, I can just lightly erase what I've drawn and draw over that. And I'm drawing out everything multiple times because I'm figuring out where everything is gold before I go into the final stage of the drawing, which is actually adding in those dark black inks. You know, on a computer, it's obviously a separate layer. If I'm working on pencil and paper, that's when I'll have a nice black pen, which can't be erased and will be my final drawing. So I'm figuring out the different costume details for the line. You know, I've decided to put in a big round mane. I figured out where that's all going to go. The details on the pilot's costume are all important. You know, I've got things like that little wire that comes down from the, the helmet there too. All of this is just rough, loose drawings that I'll draw over to go on to this stage now, which is the inking. And this for me is the fun part. You know, obviously this is really, really sped up as well. So don't worry if you can't draw this fast. Like this is sped up about 10 times the normal pace that I do it at. So, you know, draw at your own pace. You can pause this video if you're watching it and draw along with it. You know, don't ever feel like you have to rush in what you're doing. And if you can't do it straight away, you know, I promise you, if you practice, you'll get better at it. And that's one of my favorite things about drawing is that the more that you draw, the better you get. And if you find something difficult to draw, if you keep on practicing it, no matter how frustrated you are now, I promise you, you'll get better and better until you can eventually draw it. And this stage here now, for me, all the hard work is done. I've drawn my stick figure to figure out the pose. I've blocked out where the anatomy is going to go by putting in all those cylinders and shapes. And I drew all my different lines underneath it to figure out where the eyes are going to go, where the nose is going to go, where all the different costume parts are going to go. So I can draw over this in my permanent marker or on my new layer on a computer. And that way I can just draw in all the important details like the nice lines, the light shadows, and all the different parts of the costumes that are really important for me to do. The inking stage is a really, really pro stage as well. You can add an awful lot to your drawing by putting in thicker lines and thinner lines. And this is another pro tip. If you want to do something that makes your drawing pop and makes it look like it can be seen a lot clearer, you should add a nice thick black line around the outline of your drawing. So if you have thin lines in the middle, have a nice thick line on the outside and it makes it look really nice and contrast with the background to see really well. 
So now obviously the final step, again, this is sped up really, really fast. I'm coloring it on the computer. I start off by picking the different areas of color. It's called flatting. So a nice block color for each region. And then I'm adding in my highlights and my shadows and my nice little final touches for the final piece that we have here of the line on the pilot. And that's it really. And look to all of you who's gone flying in the future, safe flying. You know, always remember to wear your face mask when you're actually on the plane. And thank you for tuning in for this tutorial.